Hi there, thanks for joining. In this short video, I will show you how to use Tintech connectors right inside of Microsoft Dynamics 365 environment. Actually, with the Microsoft Power Automate and Logic apps, you can use the connectors anywhere you want. This time, we'll work with Microsoft Flow. For demo purposes, we'll build a flow that sends a message over Viper when a new appointment is created. And then we'll check the status of the message sent and save it into the appointment description. To begin, let's go to Power Automate by visiting flow.microsoft.com. Click on Sign In. And if you haven't already signed up, go ahead and sign up. Power Automate has a free license to every Microsoft account. Now, before we do anything else, uh, let's check that we, have, we are in the right environment. Click on the environments and select the one that is not default, since that one is for admin stuff. You want to have access to common data service where all records are, such as contacts. With the right environment, you can now create your first flow. Click on Create and then Automated Flow. Name your flow um, using Connector Demo. And type the trigger when a record is. And select the first one. Triggers are conditions on which flow runs just look how many possibilities you have but for this demo let's go with the first one a record is created this brings you to the flow designer where you build your automation with one trigger and as many actions as you want let's fill your trigger Set the condition to create. Entity to appointments and scope to organization. Now your flow runs when anyone in your organization creates a new appointment. Click on plus new step to create new action. Flow automatically passes all action variables as dynamic content. To send a message, we need a phone number. So we'll create a get record action to access values of the appointed contact. Search get record. Select a get record. Set the entity to contacts. Then you click into the item ID field. The dynamic content window will pop up. This is where flow stores all variables. Select regarding value. Now the whole flow can access details of your appointment and the contact. Click on plus new step and type in Tintec. Select Tintech Viper Business and send a message. When you are using a connector for the first time, you will see a prompt to create a connection. Let me show you. I'll create another connection. Name it however you want. I'm using demo and paste in your API key. Then click Create and you are done. You can have a multiple connection, so I'll go back to my main one. Click on the to field to set the receiver's phone number. Set the from field to your Viper service ID. Click on the text field. You can type the text manually or use dynamic content. I'm typing in. Dear and select 
first name from dynamic content and continue my with my message. I'm writing, I am excited about our meeting. Select subject as select location. With that, I can close and save the flow. It would be good to know if my contact received a Viper message, wouldn't it? Right. Tinted connectors have a status check function. Click on the new stop. Type in Tintec, select Viper, and status check. And then add the message ID. Let's update the appointment automatically. To do that, select step update a record. Set the entity name to appointments. An item ID to appointment. Fill in the description with your custom message. Mine is first name. Got my message on timestamp. And the status is a status. Click Save. From now on, your flow is listening to new appointments. Let's create one. Let's go to your Dynamics 365 and click on your marketing instance. Here, select appointments and click on appointment. Now you are making a new appointment. Set subject, set regarding contact, location, and check if you are happy with the start and end time. As soon as you press save, the trigger runs. Give it a second and let's see the result. Appointment description updates itself. Now you can also use all the channels that Tintech made available as connectors. We use the Tintech Viper business as an example. It works the same with the Tintech WhatsApp business, where you can send WhatsApp template messages. And with the Tintech SMS, you can send custom SMS messages. Pretty cool, huh? Let's look at a more advanced feature of Tintech connectors. Using an action named condition, we can add a fallback SMS to our flow. Click on a new step and select condition. Set the condition's value to the status. And the second value to failed. Then in the if yes branch, select add action. Type in Tintec, select SMS business, and send a custom SMS two to two mobile phone from to your phone number. I'm writing first name. I'm looking forward to our meeting. 
obviously you can get more creative than that and by combining the capabilities have fun that concludes this video hope you enjoyed it and ready to actually use it more